Hi, excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to get some money to get my baby some food. Can you help me out? I wish I could, but I don't have any money today. Oh, you don't have any money? Not today. All right. All right. God bless you, okay? Hi, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm trying to get some food for my baby. My baby's so hungry. Do you think you can uh, give me some some couple dollars or anything oh, would help? I only have a couple dollars. I was going to go get some to eat with them, but if you need to feed the baby for a while, I'm going to take this boy and take it. I'll get some food. Are you sure? Yeah, no worries. No worries. You only had this, like, what is it? One, two, three dollars? Yeah. And okay, you were going to go buy food with it, but you, you want to give it to me instead? Yeah, so yeah, so baby. What? Why, why are you so humble, so different than other people? I went to so many people and people are telling me to go get a job. Why am I so humble? Yeah, why are you so nice and humble and well, I mean, willing because, to help? Well, because, you know, first of all, I mean, because a baby can't take care of itself, you know? That's why you bring a baby into this world that, you know, you're supposed to take care of it. That's just, you know, the way yeah. that, that, I mean, the way that's, that's the morals and values I have. You don't right. bring something in the world you can't take care of. I, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I know I'm not the best dad, you know, but... Situation. In my opinion, I'm not saying you're a bad dad or anything. You know, situation but that's just came. My right. No. 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 You're right. You're right. Um, nobody should bring a kid in the world that they can't take care of it. Uh, my situation was like I lost a job, and you know I had everything. I had a nice job. I was a manager in the restaurant, yeah. and I lost everything. Anything can happen to anybody, hey, yeah. right? Unfor unforeseen occurrences happen every day. Shitty situation, crappy situations. They come along every day. You know. Right. But all we could do is just, it's just, you know witness weather the storm and and make sure that we that we are so, there to, for the next one the next so day let, let me let me ask you all this stuff that you have right here is it yours yeah it's all mine. are you are you on the streets yeah i'm uh, yeah i am what what exactly happened how did you end up right here uh to be completely honest with you i started doing drugs with my parents when i was a very young age when at, i was still in grade school at well, how old were you 12 years old oh no way and yeah. what happened then after uh, well I mean I continued to do drugs with them for a couple years and uh, and they, they you know eventually the state took my me away oh from they my took parents. you in like the foster yeah. care yeah, yeah, yeah oh my god I am so sorry and what exactly happened after uh, I, uh, I just I stayed in the system dude you know and I mean I didn't have anybody to teach me anything that was you know right from wrong or uh -huh. give me teach me any morals or values and uh and i just so continued to do what i'm doing now and uh, and i ended up here so the like, foster you know? parents would they not did they not take care of you oh like no you they take care of me until i was 18 because it's all about money it's all it's about, all money. about well, money why would you money. say it's all about money Dave? because most of, i mean i'm not saying all foster parents are bad but 90 percent of them are doing it for a paycheck Oh wow! Ninety percent are doing it for a paycheck. You know, there's some foster parents that have like a single family home with like a half a dozen different foster kids. In wow! There. Separate home just for the kids, yeah, so they can just get just for a paycheck. Every kid, the foster kid that goes into a home, is not how like much. How much do they get paid for per kid? Um, it de on it depends on the amount of emotional and personal baggage. When I say personal baggage, I mean it depends on on how me mentally messed up the kid is. You know, if the kid's wow. got like a, a, like okay, let's say if the kid has Tourette's or the kid has a drug problem, right? They'll get paid more money for taking. Oh, care the of more that problems, the more money. Yeah, yeah. If the kid's just a regular normal, goes to school and and does everything, you know, like the normal kid wow. should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you know, then that's just a, you know, it's like a flat a flat amount, but like the more wow. money. Yeah. This much. is this is crazy. This is a crazy big business that the people are running instead of really helping somebody, right? If I wish I could adopt so many kids and take care of the people that are actually kids living on the street or they're having a hard time, they lost their parents or you know, going through so much, it's it's just hard. Um and do you do you have any like uh, problem right now in your body like you are you not able to you know walk or any any uh, problem I actually have I have uh, my blood clots in my legs right now oh my god I am so sorry that because that's what I was looking at like the, yeah. the color difference yeah. in your in your legs my bad circulation and, and I mean, as you can see you can see the difference like see the color like see how it's yes regular right here and it's all right there's dark right there. oh my god it's all due to drugs honestly that is to be 100% honest with you that right. is all due to drugs and, you know, and so you, that's why and, I say say no to drugs. Stay away main, from drugs. Stay main thing school. is you accept that, right? Oh, I know. I've done, it's, I've done by my own hand. I know it. You know, 
so I don't blame anybody else for it. I mean, I, yeah, I accept it. What would you say to the people that are into drugs right now or addiction? What would you say to them? Uh, to people that are that are already doing them or to people that haven't done them before? Both, both. That, uh, that okay, are doing people, it or to, to, about to, to, to try kids, it? Let's say to kids who have, who've never done drugs before because that's where it all starts. You know? Right, like a as lot a of, fun. A lot of people you know, that drug dealing a lot, that's where they, they aim for the, the, the younger crowd, you know, and that's where they try to start to influence them young. And uh, if I had a message for them, it'd be, you know, stay away from drugs, man, stay in school. Stay in school, you know, because it's, it, time flies. And before you know it, you're going to end right. up being my age, 33 years old, dude, with nothing and nothing in front of you, nothing to look forward to. And, you know, no, it's no, no, nobody to help you. No, no, you know, parents are gone, all that. No one to help you out. Wow. Or anything like that, you know, so just, just say no, man, and keep your, keep your head down and, and, and and you know, and it, and it'll all pay off in the long run. Trust yeah, me. That's that's Believe so deep, me. man. I really appreciate you, you know, helping me out. But I want to be honest with you. Um, this was actually a social experiment. I went to so many people. Yeah. Nobody wanted to help me. I, I, there's no baby in this car. There's yeah, something special oh. in oh, there wow. for you that I'm gonna actually show you in a second. But why are you? My question again, stand still there. Why are you different than all the people that I went to? I'm not honestly I'm not different I'm not different I just I uh, I'm not different everybody everybody is different but I'm not no different than everybody else but you're such a different. such a good person man and that's what I'll Thank tell you, you. you're you're just humble your last three dollars you had I, for I your food the reason why I feel like I'm like that is because uh, because I, I've been to the bottom I've been to the to the to the trenches wow. I've been you know all right bro yeah, you know what here I'm about to give you this Hold on to the baby seat and turn it around. There's something in there for you. Oh, yep, this is for you, man. Since you decided to help me out, man, I wanted to do that for you. Have a blessed day, brother. Thank you, bro. you take care, bro. All right.